we introduce Keypoint Nerf, generalizing image-based volumetric avatars using relative spatial encoding of keypoints. Given as few as two input images of an unseen human, our goal is to instantly create a volumetric avatar that can be rendered from novel views. Existing state-of-the-art methods suffer from blur and floaty artifacts when the number of input views is small. In this work, we propose Keypoint Nerf, a method for efficient volumetric avatars that can be rendered from novel views. Given a sparse set of input images and their camera parameters, we first detect key points and estimate their 3D positions. These key points are used to provide the relative spatial encoding. Simultaneously, the input images are encoded via convolutional encoders and provide image-guided pixel-aligned features. To render an image from a novel view, we employ volumetric rendering and sample points on the ray. For each point, we query pixel-aligned features and compute a relative spatial encoding. These two types of features are fused and condition the radiance field, which predicts density value and blends input pixels to output the view-dependent color value. The predicted color and density are accumulated along the ray via volume rendering for novel view synthesis. The key idea of our approach is the reduction of spatial ambiguity by leveraging 3D key points and creating a novel spatial encoding by computing the relative reprojection difference between a given query point and the estimated key points. We further show results of unseen subjects on our studio capture data. Our method can be used for in-the-wild captured images without requiring network retraining. Our method can be also directly used for the reconstruction of humans without any algorithmic modifications and achieves results that are comparable to the current state of the art which requires a temporal video and a fitted parametric body model. Our method has difficulties reconstructing thin surfaces such as glasses and is less robust for highly articulated human motions. We would like to address these limitations in future work. Thank you for watching.